You have to experience this formula for yourself. I have not tried anything like this. Absolutely stunning. I keep looking in my mirror because it's just such a beautiful shade. I love it. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I am super excited because Anastasia Beverly Hills just launched brand new lipsticks and lip liners and they were kind enough to send me over the entire collection. How incredible is that? Hashtag not sponsored. We're going to go through all the lip liners, all of the lipsticks, but before we dive in, quick shout out to me not being a total lazy pile of garbage and finally putting new batteries in the letter K behind me and plugging in. I was, I was about to say setting up. There was no setup required with this salt lamp, but that's where we're at already. 2022, I tell ya. So with that being said, background ready, we are all set. Let's dive in and let's play with some of these lipsticks. I am gonna go ahead and do arm swatches of most of these. I am gonna go ahead and show you my favorite combos on my lips because I have some lipstick lip liner combos that I am just in love with. I have been playing with these for a few days now and I have a lot of thoughts. So let's just start off with the arm swatch. We'll start with the matte shades. Here is what the lipstick bullet looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. I am obsessed with this packaging. It is so extremely aesthetically pleasing. I want to get like an actual lipstick holder and put it out on my desk behind me because this is one of the most beautiful lipstick bullets I have ever seen. So gorgeous. I am obsessed. Now the first shade that we have right here is the shade Blackberry and this is a matte shade. Absolutely beautiful and if you look up close it has like that powdery finish to it. It's like velvety. I love that. So let's start off with the shade Blackberry. I love how opaque these are. Just a couple of swipes and you have full opacity. So this is the shade Blackberry. Absolutely gorgeous. This right here is the shade Sugar Plum. Another matte shade. Very similar to Blackberry, but this one has just a bit more of like a mauve undertone to it. So that is the shade Sugar Plum. This one looks so beautiful. Another matte shade. This is the shade American Doll. How stunning is this? This is like a true somewhat orangey red. Gorgeous. I love orangey red shades. Go ahead and swatch that for you. Absolutely Gorgina. So we have another matte shade. This one is in the shade Royal Red. Now this is more of a true blue red. Absolutely gorgeous. So I actually prefer blue reds. It either has to have that orangey undertone or the blue red undertone. So you can definitely see the difference between American Doll and Royal Red. American Doll has more of that kind of orangey base, where this one has more of that blue base right here, this shade right here, Royal Red. Absolutely stunning. Now we are into the satin lipstick shades. This is in the shade Praline. Absolutely gorgeous. I apologize now for how much I'm gonna say the word gorgeous. Beautiful mid-tone nude shade. This is like one of those your lips but better type shades. There is a ton of beautiful nudes in this collection. There is literally something for everyone in this collection. Every skin tone, every undertone, you name it, it's there. Now we are on to the shade Dusty Rose. There's that. Do a swatch. Beautiful, another warm tone, your lip, but better type shade. Perfect for everyday wear, something you can just pop in your purse, reapply, gorgeous. This one is in the shade Rose Dream. Now this one I feel like has a little bit more of like a sheerness to it, if that even makes sense. I can't really quite describe it. It just goes on a little bit more, almost like glossy if you ask me. And it is still the satin finish, but it isn't quite as opaque. So if you want something again that is in that realm of the your lips but better, something that's just easy that you can wear every day, but you don't want something that is just so stark pigmented, this one right here, Rose Dream, is the perfect shade for you. Now we have this shade right here, T. I absolutely love very, very light nudes like this. I am one of those people that loves 
that like borderline concealer look on the lips. Obviously this one has more of like a warm peachy undertone to it, but I love a very light nude shade. This is kind of reminiscent of the Kim KW shade from Charlotte Tilbury. A little bit warmer, but it is very, very similar. Next up we have Peach Bud. Keep in mind we are done with the matte lipsticks now, so these are all a satin finish at this point. So we have Peach Bud. Oh, so so beautiful. I cannot wait to wear this shade in the summertime. This is just so it looks so beautiful with a tan on the skin. Absolutely gorgeous. This right here is peach amber. So just a little bit of a deeper peach tone. As you can see, it's just like a deeper version of the peach shade that we just swatched. So here is that one. This would look beautiful on some deeper complexion as well as a nude lipstick. Now we have Rose Brown. How stunning is this shade right here? So beautiful. I love brown lip tones. This is beautiful. Absolutely stunning shade. Browns are just so good. Very 90s-esque and I love that that's like a thing now. I love that it's coming back. Next up we have a shade called Soft Brown. Again, just another kind of warm, peachy, chocolatey brown shade. I'm looking at these swatches right now in the viewfinder and they're so pretty. I mean, look at these nude shades. I mean, literally, there is something for everybody in this collection. I think that this was just a very, very solid launch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these off my arm and then we will move on to the lip liners. Now keep in mind, I am saving my favorite combinations for last here, so I will actually be swatching those on my lips for you. I did want to swatch all of these on my lips, but you can imagine if I were to swatch 17 lip liners and then 17 lipsticks on my lips, the condition my face would be in. <laughs> Just way too much. So that's why I picked my favorite combinations to swatch on my lips for you versus swatching all of this on my lips. So here is what the lip liners look like. You get a shit ton of product in here. I mean, look how large this pencil is. Absolutely incredible. So the first one we are going to swatch is the shade Rose Dream. There is actually an indication on the end of the pencil as well as the color that is inside. These are going to be your standard pencil liner, which I actually do prefer. These do last a lot longer on the lips, a little bit more of a stiffer formula, but this really does glide right on the lips, which you will see in a moment. I do also like a pencil because you can sharpen this and it will get very, very precise. This is a wood pencil. So again, for that reason, that's why I really do like a formula like this encased in a wood pencil. It just makes it easier for sharpening, more precise outline on the lips. You guys get the drift. So we have Rose Dream. Now there are some liners that will go with certain lipsticks. So if you remember when we were swatching the lipsticks, there was a Rose Dream lipstick. There is also a Rose Dream liner. Now there isn't a liner specifically for every lipstick. I do wanna mention that as well. There are some, but a lot of them can be mixed and matched. So it's not like you have to have a specific liner for a specific lipstick. So the next one I'm gonna show you is the shade Chai. Show you really quickly what it looks like. This is just like a beautiful, rich brown. Absolutely stunning. The cool thing about lip liners as well is that you don't always have to pair a lipstick. I, more times than not, will just put a lip liner on my lips. I will fill in everything and then I will pop a gloss right on top. I love a good lipstick, but do not underestimate a lip liner with some lip gloss. Solid. All right, so this one is in the shade Sandstone. I suppose I should just show you the end of it right here so you can see the pencil. So this is in the shade Sandstone. Another kind of warm brown shade. A lot of these brown liners do look very similar when you swatch them. I don't know the magic or the sorcery that's going on here because when I get it on my lips, it's a different story. The next one we have is the shade Cranberry. Just see how opaque these are and how soft they are. Like I don't have to apply much pressure at all. Just swatches very easily. Beautiful formula. Next up we have a lip liner in the shade Auburn. This is a really pretty shade as well. 
super stunning. This one is actually quite unique. It's like a very warm kind of terracotta, but it almost has like a rose undertone to it, if that makes any sense. It's just a really, really pretty shade, very unique. Next up, we have the shade Hazelnut. Very pretty kind of cool mid-tone brown shade. Absolutely love that. Now we have a deep brown shade in Malt. This one is stunning, I love this. Look at that. That is like chocolate brown. Malt is the perfect way to describe this liner. So pretty, I love that. Now we have the shade Cool Brown. I actually prefer cool toned lip colors. I don't know why, it just looks the best on my skin tone. It just is what it is. I love this shade. Like I said, I'm obsessed with browns. I am here for it and that is just absolutely stunning. Now this brown shade could be paired with really any of the nude shades from the lipsticks. Pop a little bit of color right in the center of the lip. You guys get the drift. Beautiful combination. You can mix and match for sure. Next up we have Peach Amber. Really pretty shade. I'm starting to go off into a slant here. I don't know why I do that, but it is what it is. Next up, we have Warm Taupe. Another beautiful kind of mid-tone taupey brown shade. I love this one. This is another one that is totally my jam. Now we have Dusty Rose. Super pretty. Love that. We have a red one in the shade Cherry. So this one kind of has like that bluish undertone to it. So this one would pair beautifully with the Royal Red or Red Royal. Royal Red, I think it was called. And then last we have the shade Blackberry. Love a more purple Blackberry tone. You will love this. All right, now it's time to move on to my lip swatches. So the first combo I wanna show you guys is the lipstick shade Haze. Let me show you this one. This is the shade right here. This is a satin finish. The lip liner in deep taupe. Oh my goodness, this combination right here, bitch. Get out of town. I just love how precise this liner is and the colors just glide on with ease. It makes it so easy. My lips are dry, hot mess express right now, so you will see how nice these lipsticks look, despite the fact that my lips are so incredibly dry. So now we'll go in with the lipstick shade Haze. I like to pop that right in the center and then rub my lips together to blend everything in. Look at this combination. I am obsessed. It is cool toned. It is nude. This will go with really any eye look at all. This is just an absolutely gorgeous lip combo. I am here for it. So obsessed. All right, so the next combo I wanna show you is the Satin Lipstick in the shade Taupe Beige with the lip liner in Sunbaked. How beautiful is this combination? I am telling you, the undertones, the shades of these are just so spot on. I am absolutely living. So the next combo I love is this shade right here, Butterscotch. Now this one is pushing the limits for me because this is such a light shade, but trust me. And I like to pair it with this shade right here, Baby Roses for the lip liner. Again, this is another satin lipstick. This lip liner, even on its own, is adorable. I love this shade. Very much so like a baby peachy pink type shade. At least that's how it shows up on me and it's absolutely beautiful. Let's go in with the lipstick. This might even be my favorite combo out of them all. This is just beautiful. I love really light nude shades like this. Just absolutely stunning. I keep looking in my mirror because it's just such a beautiful shade. I love it. Now this might actually be a good shade as well because it's so light in color that you can mix and match with some of the deeper shades as well to kind of highlight just like the center of the lip as well. So beautiful. Mm, and they smell good. I forgot to mention that. They have a very light, very light vanilla scent. So yummy. All right, so the next combo I wanna show you guys is another satin lipstick. This is in the shade Warm Peach. And then I'm gonna pair it with the lip liner in the shade Parchment. Now this is like the ultimate warm terracotta nude. Wait till you see this. These just glide on with absolute ease. So good. These are some of the best lip liners I have used. Straight up like the best 
lip liners. They are fantastic. All right, going in with Warm Peach. This one I like to go back in over the lipstick and just kind of blend everything together so there's not any harsh lines. I definitely cannot pull off like that super dark lip liner and then go in with like a super light lipstick in the center. It just does not work for me. <laughs> How gorgeous is this for like a more deeper, warm nude I love this. I keep saying like one is my favorite, one is my favorite, but I love all of them so much. They are just so <laughs> incredibly good. I love the tones of the lip liners and the tones of the lipsticks. I can't stress that enough. They just made everything work together so incredibly well and the formula is just straight up top notch. Now I do wanna go ahead and show you one more lip swatch and this is a matte shade. This one is in the shade Rum Punch. How beautiful is this? And I really did wanna save the best for last. So let's go ahead and move on. We have one more lip swatch to go. All right, let's go in with Rum Punch. Now this one, I'm not gonna use any lip liners or anything. I'm just going in with the lipstick. It looks like literal velvet on the lips. It's like soft and diffused. Despite the fact that this is a matte formula, it feels so creamy on the lips. I usually hate matte lipsticks. Like I do not have a desire for them anymore. Matte lipsticks are just not my jam. But oh my goodness, look how beautiful. This feels hydrating and light as air on the lips, but it is not exaggerating any of the fine lines in my lips at all. It just looks beautiful. It's not bleeding, it's not settling. So comfortable, you have to experience this formula for yourself. I have not tried anything like this. And I told you all I was saving the best vampy one for last. Whew, that was a lot of swatches. Anastasia has been killing it with the launches. So many people are just sleeping on their products. And I've heard a lot of influencers be like, oh, I'm just not really interested in this or that. And I'm like, y'all are nuts. You are so missing out. You need to get with it. You need to get back on the ABH train because these products have just been killing it and blowing my mind. Let me know if I swatch anything where you were just like, ooh, I really want that shade. Any questions you have about the lipsticks, please be sure to leave a comment down below. Ooh, and look at that. It's not getting out of my teeth either. Another bonus. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it, share it, and of course, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.